Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a forced fail safe in all three modes on the Futaba TAJ. This is for nozzle, the GPS, and um, I'm going to go through, this is for actually Mike in Manhattan, this is your radio, and you can see that the plastic is still on it here, but we'll leave that on for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the switches, what they're going to do. This is actually uh, where we're at with your quad right now, and you can see the gimbal in the front, I had my GoPro on it earlier and um, go through and I'm going to show you the mixes on the radio, show you guys how to set up mixes so you can do this with a uh, force fail safe in any mode and I'll show you the, the curves and how to do it so let's start by going into the menu here and model select we already have, uh, we're already set up I have a new model set up and uh, I label it FPV1, it's from Michael here First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to endpoint. And you can see I got my gear at 61 and 61. What you'll want to do is change that to 36 and then you're going to go back and change it back. So what you'll do is go to change it. Um, my mode switches are this is switch C is going to be for the mode, manual, altitude mode, and GPS mode. Switch D is going to be the camera switch, and this is going to be, since it is a three position on the right shoulder instead of the left shoulder, this will be your orientation control. So um, those are the way my switches are set up in this radio. So this is switch G and uh, switch C for the mode, D for the cameras, and B will be for the force scale safe on this radio. So I have my gear limits at, uh, which is channel five, switch C. Um, all the way in GPS mode, I have it set at 61. You want to go down to 36, then you'll go over to fail safe. You're going to set the go down to throttle, turn the fail safe on by pushing down on the on the button here. Set it at uh, 54 to 56 percent, okay? And you're going to go down to gear, and this is why you set the endpoint at 36, so you can get this to 33 percent. Okay, then you're going to go back and change the endpoint on gear channel back to 61. So now that's straight, okay? Now next I'm going to show you the curve. Now this is all your NASA programming, so um, before the end of this video, we're going to get in the computer and I'll show you the how this works, okay, and how it all comes together. So we're going to go back to the main menu here. We want all the other readings to be at 100, okay? If they're not, make sure that they're 100. And we're going to go to Mix. And we're going to go down here. Instead of the normal mixes, you're going to skip all them and you're going to go to Mix 5. You're going to go over to Page 2. And Mixes, I put the Mix, it's off in the up position. So up and away, all your switches should be up and away when you turn the, the radio on. So that will be off. Master, you want on gear. Slave you want on gear, switch is B that I'm using here. Any two position switch you guys can use as long as it's not being used for something else. And position is down. So down means the mix will turn on, okay? Now this is what you want your curve to look like. And if we go back to page one, these are the numbers you have to put in. Plus 49% in uh, P5, zero P4, plus 49% in P3. 0p2 and minus 54% of p1 and what that does is so that's your mix okay we'll go back to page two so you can see that it's uh, on off all right so it is active okay and um, you can see that it says gear gear so you know it's active this means inhibited so it would be off and make sure you use uh, the curve the first curve mix here and we're going to go back, and it's actually the helicopter mix, I think, is what we're using. But we're on acro mode, so make sure you're on acro mode. We're going to go back now, and now we'll uh, plug in the uh, quadcopter and the NASA. Okay, so my radio's on, and I'm in manual mode here, as you can see. I'm going to plug it into my computer. And you'll notice the green light if you guys can see that on the quad. So you know that uh, we're, we're linked up pretty good here. We're going to open the NASA Assistant software. 
Okay, so we know the controller output is off. We have the latest assistant. Um, we know that's off. And go down here to motor mixer, quad X, keep it unrecommended. I already calibrated the TX. Let me zoom in here a little bit for you guys. Okay. So you can see our modes. So if I flick C to the middle position, it goes to altitude mode. And all the way down, we're on GPS mode. So now what we want to do is we want to test our failsafe, our mix, which would be switch B. So we're going to keep it on manual and we'll flick B down and it goes to failsafe. So we'll turn B off, flick it onto altitude mode, and B goes to failsafe. And we'll go down to GPS mode with switch C and failsafe again. So that's a good way to get it. Um, I have all my modes there. And if we go to the orientation control, which is on this, it's uh, switch G. You have your, it's in the off position now. Course lock and home lock. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change these rates. These are a little high. I think 115 is better suited. And you'll notice they turn red until it's written to the, uh, and we're gonna change these to 130. Until it's written to the NASA controller, it'll be red. So we have to remember to write it. And I will go up here and write it. A good thing to do is export the settings. You can save it as a file in case you forgot what gains you liked. Um, I have all the gains. These are inhibited, so I don't have any remote setting right now. I'm using my X1, which is my <clears throat> VR knob, to control my gimbal. And let's see here. We can show you that. And I get it to straight down. So this is actually a GoPro 3 ca uh, camera cable here, which is a really nice, nice thing to get. So that's about it guys, now you know how to set up the forced failsafe on the TAJ, uh, if you have any questions let me know and uh, message me and I'll help you out, thanks for watching.